Okay, guys and gals, what our goal is, is to take this quick change top plate by inline fabrication and get it mounted on this press on the next video. But for this video, what I want to do, I want to talk about the quick change plate system by inline fabrication that includes both the top plate and this base plate and then I want to talk about all the associated hardware that's included and I'll show you where it goes. Fair enough? So if you are interested in purchasing this product you can go to inline fabrication there you see their website and Dan Clausen is the owner. Now, the first thing you have to understand about this system is it's your top plate that's specific to whatever press you're loading on. In other words, for the Dillon 550, you're going to need the quick change top plate number 14. That's specifically what it's called. Top, this is called the quick change top plate number 14. So if you're not loading off the 550, you can go to inline fabrication, go to equipment by brand, you can look, you can look for your specific press, and there you'll find your specific plate. Now, this is what this plate will look like on your press. When you grab your press, be careful. Don't put your finger in the print in the pinch point. Keep your hand out of the press. Just simply grab your press like this and now this is about what your press will look like. Put this plate on it. It's going to look something like that. Okay? Now once you have the quick change top plate installed, imagine your press is on this. Now, the entire works will settle into this flush mount quick change base plate. So now, let's talk about the base plate. All the base plates are the same. All you need is a base plate. This is called the flush mount quick change plate because you see, these plates are designed to where they hang over the edge of the bench, follow along. When I install this, I'll show you the distance on that. But this is designed to where once you have the base plate where you want it, then you can simply route that area below the plate, route it out off your bench low enough that this plate can sit flush. That way, once you move the press out of the way, you could lay a gunsmith mat over this or you could even work on top of this without a mat because this has a protective coating. So these are flush mount because it gives you that option. Now, you'll notice that my plates aren't flush mount. The reason is right now I'm still developing my channel. But once I get all my plates in position, then you'll see that I'll begin having these routed out and I'll show you what they look like. So just follow along and end time on my channel you'll see that. For now though I don't have these flush mounted. Follow along and I'll show you how to mount these without flush mount. Fair enough? So now let's talk about the associated hardware and what's included. Let's take our quick change top plate and install it into our flush mount quick change top plate and the word quick change is in here because it's quick within 30 seconds I can literally have this press off of this base plate and I can put another press in here just that quick follow along and you'll see it's pretty handy so now let's imagine that we have our press on this so in another words That would look something like that, right? So what we have is we have four holes in our press. 
the front portion of our press is not as thick as this front portion. This back portion is not as thick as this front portion, right? So we can assume that towards the rear of this plate, we're going to have the shorter machine screws, and towards the front, we're going to have the larger, right? Then, what you're going to have is your four flat washers. And as you guys can see, Dan provides everything you need to get this quick change top plate mounted on this press. It's, it's easy. Now, Dan also provides you with four nylon nuts. And now what we have left is we have these four screws and those two screws, and we have these knobs. Don't worry about those knobs. Those will come later. Here on this plate on the left we have four threaded holes. On the right we have two threaded holes. So it's probably safe to assume that we have four screws. It will go into those four holes. I have a really good idea what's going to be attached here but because I haven't set this up and I only want to work out a correctness follow along and I'll show you then we have two screws here and they probably utilize those two screw holes so now you guys can see that Dan provides you with everything to attach our top plate onto the base of our press once we have that then we're ready to mount this plate onto our bench Okay. So now, if you guys want to see my spin on this, let me show you. You see, this is a blue press. Pretty awesome looking stuff, right? So if we wanted, couldn't we get rid of all the flat washers and the nylon nuts? And couldn't we come in here like this and bring these blue lock nuts into play? I mean, you got to think about it. If you're going to run a press as nice as Dylan, don't you think you should make it look good? You can have this nice press, you can have this nice black plate system, and now you have these really cool blue locking nuts. Now, whichever way you go, whether you use the lock washer and the nylon nuts, or just the, the blue lock nuts, guys, it's going to look great and it's going to work good. So that's the end of this video. On the next video, let's go ahead and take this top plate and let's go ahead and get it mounted on the base of our Dillon RL550B. Good enough? Guys and gals, that's the end of this video. See you on the next.